Hey guys, it's James and today I have a bit of a tutorial and review for you of the new Nicky Romero sidechain plugin which is by Kickstart and the people who made this are Cable Guys and Nicky Romero so it's basically a VST effect that sidechains so what I've done is I've got a kick drum and a bit of white noise just laid out like that in a bit of four which is why it is put onto quarter if it was twice as fast as that it'd be eight half of that uh, half there and you get the picture so if I press play now you get it like this so you can kind of hear it pumping there and that's basically because it's following this pattern here and so this here this knob here that I'm turning is the dry wet mix and basically it's um, puts in how much of the mix you want it to cover so if I play it and mess around with it so you can kind of hear it just uh, affecting the mix so it follows all these different patterns they've got all these different ones uh, for the different side chain effects you can move it along how you want and um, bring it back. I also read um, that in an update that will be of the plugin, you can draw your own patterns as well, which is great. So you don't just have to stick with all these, but these are some pretty good patterns anyway. Um, so you've got it, all of it uh, synced and we triggered in one shot, all that stuff. Um, this is actually the demo version I just got. But I'm definitely buying this today. I just wanted to get it to try it out, but it's absolutely amazing. Um, so as a review, it's great. It makes side chaining so easy. And I know some people who are religious about side chaining, and they would absolutely love this. So all you need to do is you don't even need to link the kick and the white noise together. You just literally get the channel you want it on, and you put it on Kickstart. You just slap it on, and it automatically affects it with uh, it's following the automation there so it's really good there's nothing really to say about it in tutorial views because it's so simple to use I wasn't sure about how it would work but I just put it on and with five minutes in five minutes I knew how to work it so it's pretty great you can use it for anything because that's all it is just simple side chaining I just put it to white noise there because I normally side chain my white noise but uh, you can do it with sub bases, normal bases, anything, and sub chain it. You don't have to sub sub chain, side chain. You don't have to side chain it to kicks or drums. Just do it to anything. Um, so, yeah, it's not really side chaining an effect because you're not chaining anything to something else. It's just it gives the effect of side chain by lowering the volume of something at a certain point. Um, to follow the kicks so this is why when this kick comes in place it comes in place about here and then the rest of it is the um, is the three bits there and this is this takes place in quarter of a bar which is what the spacing between each of my kicks is so if I just press play again you hear it there and you can follow it with different patterns and stuff so Obviously, if I put it in a different one that starts differently, like, say, this one, you'll hear it differently. It doesn't sound quite sound chain, it just sounds like a steam train, but that's because the drums are in a different place. If I probably put them, like, say, here or something, you might be able to hear it better. So you can hear the drums a lot better because the volume is dipped at that point. And if it's not quite right, you can adjust it slightly like that. Like I said, if you um, if I put in one every eighth note, you would you'd be able to hear it by say putting it on eighth here. And well, I keep messing this up now. Oh, for God's sake! Yeah, if I put it on eight here. Just press play. You can hear that it affects just that part there so it's dipped here and then up and then dipped again and up and you can do it for the same for half one so you just clear that and put it there so but normally my set my drums might be like this anyway so I just keep it on that and 
yeah, so basically the sidechain tool is really easy to use because it's not really sidechaining. It gives the effect of sidechaining. And I'm definitely buying this today. Um, as a review, it's great. It's so simple and easy to use. It's only 10 euros, 15 US dollars, and 10 pounds. So great value as well. I can't believe it. And well done to Cable Guys and Nicky Romero for designing it. It's a great VST. And I recommend you get it. All right. Bye.